In this video, we're going to discuss a couple crowds of finding an arithmetic se sequence, the nth term. So there's two pieces that make up an arithmetic sequence in general, and that's the common difference and the first term. So here, our first term, or what we'd call a sub 1, is 3. And we have a common difference of 4, because each time it's going up 4. So that's what makes it arithmetic, is that common difference. So when we're looking for the nth term, we know it starts at 3, and it goes up 4 each time, so it's like a linear function. The only difference, instead of multiplying by n, we're going to multiply by n minus 1. The other reason is, the reason is because this is not a y-intercept. Uh, notice the input is 1 when we have 3, not 0, so we back it up 1. We can uh, multiply this out and distribute if we want, and we'd have 4n minus 1. And we can see the third term is 11. Well, if we plug 3 in, we get 12 minus 1, which is 11. Um, another way that you'll see, I have to come up with an arithmetic, let's say the third term is 5, and the seventh term is 17. So they didn't give the common difference, nor did they give the first term. So we need to do a little investigation here. We can treat this like a linear function. We can actually kind of think of these as points 3 and 5, and 7 and 17. This common difference that I'm talking about is really just slope. So we can do 17 minus 5 over 7 minus 3, which is 12 over 4, or 3, so we have a common difference of 3, that means it goes up 3 each time, or down 3 each time. And then there's a couple different ways we can find the first term. One is we could repeatedly subtract 3. But if we think back to our linear functions, we know a sub n now is 3n plus whatever our first term is, let's call it a sub 1. We can plug in either of these. We know when n is 3, that n, a sub n has to be 5, so let's plug that in. So 5 equals 3 times 3 plus a sub 1, or 9 plus a sub 1 equals 5. So our first term has to be 4. Probably shouldn't call that a first term. Let's just call it a. Not our first term. But in this model, a has to be 4. So a sub n equals 3n minus 4. Sorry, I shouldn't have called that the first term. Because it is a negative 4. And there's two different ways of getting the nth term of an arithmetic sequence.